Hi everyone and welcome to the 16th lecture of the tree series. In this lecture, I'll be discussing the problem fixed length path 2. So the problem says, given a tree of n nodes, your task is to count the number of distinct paths that have at least k1 and at most k2 edges. This is the sample tree given and we need to find the number of paths for that has a number of edges between 2 and 3 in this tree from 2. Number of paths with length 2 are just 1, which is from 2 to 3. So, firstly, from 2 to 3. Next, from the second node, the number of paths with length 3 are from 2 to 4 and 2 to 5. So, 2 to 4 and 2 to 5. Now, from the first node, the number of paths with length 2 are 2 from 1 to 4 and 1 to 5. And 1 to 5. Nextly, we have two remaining paths, but just one remaining path, which is 4 to 5, which consists of two edges. So we have total six paths that consist of two or three edges. Now, like the previous problem, we can use center decomposition, but this time we will need a Fenwick tree or some other range query data structure, but that would do the solution with time complexity big O of n log square n and the CSES time limits won't allow this. Thus, we will be using small to large merging in this problem. Now, for this problem, we will be maintaining a suffix sum count array for each node, and the merging of two suffix sum uh, arrays would be time complexity would be minimum of minimum of let's say two suffix sum arrays are a and b and the sizes of a and b are this it would be the minimum of this right so a big o of now we'll say we have a node u and let's say for the u node suffix u D gives the num count the number of nodes with d in depth from D to infinity, right? So greater than D basically. And let's say you as children V1, V2, V3, and so on. Say Vn. Now there's some VK between. And let's say I have processed all these nodes and I have merged the. I firstly I know the suffix sum arrays of all of these nodes and I merged them into U for now. And now for the suffix sum VK, to find total number of paths contributed by this and the subtree of this and passes through u now let's say at, at a particular depth d of this vk i want to calculate the number of paths contributed by all the nodes with depth d this would be of vk d minus of vk d1 d plus 1 this would give me the total number of nodes with depth exactly d right since this is the definition of the suffix array and these are the number of nodes with the depth d this into now i have sub u for u which is the which i have which is, from, which is formed by the merging of all of these previous nodes. Now, number of paths contributed by all the nodes with depth D would be this part multiplied by of U 
ए वन माइनस डी माइनस ऑफ यू के टू माइनस डी प्लस वन राइट द सम ऑफ द टोटल डेप बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस बी बिटवीन के वन एंड के टू For all such possible d's in this suffix of this child subtree, we can calculate the total, and then we can merge this suffix array into the suffix array for the parent. This we will do by firstly identify identifying which is the smaller suffix array, and we will merge that particular into the larger one, and then we will continue by doing for all the children. And since this would be in a DFS, firstly we will process all the V. Then U when U will get completed, it will return to its parent and so on. Now let us look at the code. Firstly, we will take the input for the tree and then run the function calculate suffix for the first node with parent as zero. Now we will be using DQ as the suffix array, suffix count. Then for each child, if we firstly Find the suffix for the child, and then merge these two. During merging, firstly we will find the. Firstly we will swap by and, and firstly we we'll make sure that the B suffix has the smaller one. Then we will calculate the answer, like explained, and then we will merge the B into the A one, which is the larger one, and then it will continue for all children, and then it will return the particular suffix. It and then we'll print our answer. So that's it. Make sure you subscribe and share this video. Thank you for watching.